Please stop. I need your help. I'm sorry, I can't. Just one moment. I know I look monstrous. No, you don't. I'm just really busy. Making deliveries. I know. That's why I need your help. They call me Patchwork. You need to call my company if you want a delivery. I can't take on jobs from people on the street. I can pay you. No one else will help me. People scream. They scream? The children are frightened. They tell stories about me. About the freak. Really? There are plenty of androids back in the Eastern Peninsula that want to wear dermis but can't keep it in good repair. In Navalis, such a thing is seen as an abomination. Unclean. Dermis is expensive. Do you... do you ever consider just living as an android? Never. I don't feel like an android. My body feels wrong. I want to have skin, to breathe, to feel, to sweat, to touch people without them recoiling. I understand. What do you want from me? I can't leave this alleyway. They run from me. Corpsec would fine me for causing a scene. I need Dermis. I can only buy from less reputable sources. You want me to buy you black market skin cells? No way. I can pay you well. As a human, it is not even illegal for you. Only androids are forbidden from buying from unofficial vendors. I'm sorry, you need to find someone else. There is no one else. I have been like this for a week. I will not live like this. I cannot. How far do I need to go? Just two blocks over. Here is the money. You can keep half. Fine. What is his name? Greppo. He stands on the corner. A thin mustache. He is hard to miss. And what is your name? I told you. They call me Patchwork. What is your name? Pete. I would like to be called Pete. I'll do what I can, Pete. Here's what I could offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to... Greppo? That's me. Keep moving, sec. What? I'm not corpse sec. <laughs> sure you ain't. I don't have anything for you. Dermis. I need it. For a friend. Oh. <laughs> the skin job found someone to come out and play? How is Patchwork Man? His name is Pete. Pete? <laughs> Who's he fooling? He's a Patchwork Man. With the wobbly jelly eyes and the flesh hanging off him like he's skin meat. What the hell is wrong with you? You know what they say about him? The patchwork man loves to see the smiles on kids' faces. That's why he wears them over his own! <laughs> oh. Just give me the dermis. <laughs> sure, sure. Tell Patchwork I said hi. That freak. Asshole. I can't believe you have to deal with that Greppo guy. Did you get the dermis? Yeah, it's just a vial with some liquid. That's right. The cells are microscopic, but they grow and renew. I'll have full human skin for a few months, at least. Then it breaks down. Can you get something more permanent? Not unless a million limbs suddenly appear in my bank account. Would you ever live as an android? Would you? I guess not. Thank you for your help. See you around, Pete.
you, Huxley. The dame really came through. Why do you talk like that? Who was this bum that was questioning me? Another tin can with an attitude and too many questions. I gave him the brush off. Hey, don't talk to him like that or I'll drop you in the hollows. The dame had a point. I'd better play nice for now. I'd slip her some bills when she took me to the holocash machine. A handful of limbs should help dip this sour lemon in a little sugar. Can you understand what he is saying? About 40% of it. The dame and the car were close. Any fool could see that. But I, I looked beyond the surface. She was a girl from out of town. Still as green as the water supplies down in the vents. You said you're a private investigator. Do you really think that's how they talk? She had an attitude, but I liked her. And a dog, too. How did he know I was... am... your dog? I guess that's what investigators do, right? There was a holocash machine up ahead, but I had to keep a real low profile. I'd give the dame my number and let her grab the cash for me. And that number would be? I gave her the digits. Five, four, two, four, four. She was a smart cookie. She'd remember them. settled the bill. Surely the dame would drop me like a bad penny now. This is a lot of money. I can drop you somewhere else if you like. Why are we helping him more? He's kind of growing on me. Hmm. The dame had a heart of gold. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I'd tell her about Pashta. Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. I do not like this. Where's this office of yours, Huxley? We were headed towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pashta. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pashta, anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. It all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar downtown, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter too. He had a record, so CorpSec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best, cheapest PI. So the debt corpse can abduct children now? The Dane didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corpse had hearts blacker than my morning cup of joe. Huxley, were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The dame thought I had a screw loose. I guess her instincts were good. Truth was, there was a time when I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now, I would played a role so well I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my accounting. Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been.
your office is all boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. I was fired. But that place was where I slept, so I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction was the illness, but what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. There's a note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Who knew how hot this place was? I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. I think you're being overdramatic. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? I'll take my chances. I want to see what this note says. four mats, two ultra brights, and an iridescent topper, all programmable from the Morgana Palette console, sold separately, available today. Here's what I can offer. Thanks. I look forward to... bird. I mean your falcon, Norman. What happened? We had a disagreement. So you let him go? Let is not the word I would use. So Norman escaped? He clawed my eye. If I catch him, I will skin him. You have to be careful with wild animals. I told you, he is not a wild animal. Where did you see him? The slums. Deep in the slums. You know the part that smells like sulfur? In the low levels? Yes. Well, lower than that. Right. Time to teach that bird a lesson.
Okay, I can see the note. It says, go to the blue chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. We're not taking him there too, are we? I couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck her neck out for me. We can drop him off at the bar. It's close by. incoming call. Control? No. It is for Huxley. I knew who was calling. This would be bad. Put it through, I guess. What in Cora's name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He paid good money, but I'd been stuck down in the hollows following a lead. The lead went cold, and I was trapped down there with no comm signal and no cash. You wasted my money and my time. If you don't find my daughter, I'm infecting you with a logic virus. I have hacker friends. Hey, what the hell? I don't know who you are, but you better leave this idiot to do his job. I was gonna save that girl, but not because of the threats. Truth was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. But what I won't stand for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. I hope the dame would come with me. Was that too much to ask? Uh, yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if Control calls with another job at any point, you're on your own, Huxley. The offer was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. You don't use dice in roulette. I know, Camus. Just let it go.
What you looking for? Thanks. Hey, come back any time, lady. Took you long enough. <coughs> are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call him Smoking Jojo because he was cute. His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burnt out, overheating and underperforming. He didn't like the dame, but he knew me. We went way back, but Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than... My name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <coughs> but as you can see... I ain't got long left. You could fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get help? Repairs? <coughs> nah. They don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <laughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is, if I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say, but how did he know I was looking for Pasta? You've been asking around town. Word gets out. I was playing a private gig a few months back. The pay was real good. And I'm still the best horn player in town. Even if I don't look too good these days. What? With all the rust and all. While I was there, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex-corp goon called Raguan was there. Talking about how he got screwed over. And? Look, I don't like squidding like this. <coughs> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, but would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting sucked into this. So what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, this Raguan guy's drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. <coughs> Near enough getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. In the middle of mouthing off, Raguan says he's dangerous and he can make people disappear. He says he's not to be messed with, cause the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he says the name. I was the only one that heard him. But he takes a drink, and through his tears, he keeps saying, Sorry, Pasta. Sorry. <coughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we'd picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. He is still here? Why is he still here? We're just taking him to one more place. Why? The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Camus, we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. Well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Marrow Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Ragwan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing Corpsec without the proper clearance from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Raguan and the Holovids? Yes. He looked... sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching. There is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. 
It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would stay. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us an F point. It get you busy? No, not at all. Completely free. Good. I, uh, well, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You know what, Control? Can I get back to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. All right, kid. Uh, all right. Um, I'll have a job soon, though. No rush, Control. Chat soon. I started to feel like I was holding the dame back. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's just see what we can find at Raguan's apartment. Beauty. You want to buy some fresh walnuts, or are you looking for a date? Thanks for this. Anytime, honey.
This was the place for sure. I was on my way. Wait, do you want me to... I couldn't ask the dame to do any more. She was a class act. A dime store performer in a city of nickels. A diamond in a waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame flashed me a smile brighter than the sun. Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. Camus, wish him luck. Good luck, I guess. Be careful, Huxley. I hope you save Pashta. The dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. Will he be okay? I don't know, Camus. I have an additional question. Go ahead. What is a Girl Scout? What is a dime? What is a nickel? Should I search for them? No, it's time to move on, Camus. Morgana's newest palette features four masks, two ultra bright Hey kid, uh, you free now? Finished your coffee? My sure thing control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower, labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out.
know you! You're Cloudpunk! No, I'm Rania. I work for Cloudpunk. Who are you? You don't remember? I'm from Vince! We spoke! Maybe you don't recognize me. We can't take our mask off. I remember. Why are you here? Please, you need to help us. They are trapped. No one can get to them. All right, calm down. What happened? There was a storm. We sheltered in a cave, but it was no use. We had no choice but to follow the tunnels. Up and up, we climbed to escape. The frost chased us like demons. We were separated in the darkness. I think my brothers and sisters climbed an old vinculum into a different part of Novalis. You climbed all the way from the vents to the city? We were trapped. The only way was to climb. We did not want to shelter in the city, but we had no choice. It was so dark inside the superstructure, it is impossible to get your bearings. So what do you need from me? Please, find them. Help them get home. They may be trapped. Lost. Okay, how? I don't know. It'll be near cold ducts that flow into the city. Somewhere near a construction site, probably. That is all I can say. Can't we go back the way you came? No! It's frozen solid. The cold winds would strip the skin from your bones. There is no way back. If it's really that bad, do you think maybe your friends... In the vents, we do not lose hope till we find the bodies. We are a hardy people. We do not give up easily. I hear you. I'll try to find them. It is all I can ask. What about you? I don't know anyone else in the city. There's nothing for me here. I'll go back to where the world makes sense. Even with the storms? There are kinds of storms here too. Different, but just as deadly. Camus, are you there? Did you hear what the moisture farmer said? Yes. Near cold air ducts. Did you find some? No. Could you search the database for abandoned construction sites below Midtown? Searching. There is a walled section west of Caledon with heavy construction. I'm adding a nav point. On my way. your little white snapper the mouse uh, who uh, forget it
Mr. Anderson. That is a strange name. I think it's an old name. Maybe the package will be for an old man. We'll find out soon. Let's find this Anderson Tower. There are so many more people like me here than back at the Plateau. Here in Navalis, does that make you feel less alone, Camus? I don't know. A lot of the automata do not have good jobs. That wasn't so different back home, either. The agriculture automata didn't even get breaks. They just worked in the fields 24 hours a day. Yes, but they would always tell me how lazy I was. Maybe that was just a way for them to feel good about what they had to do. They didn't have to work there. They could have worked at the mine. Not much of a choice, though, right? I wouldn't want to do either of those jobs, would you? No, but the automata here in the city are different. I think they laugh at me. When did they laugh at you? All the time. When we refuel, when we park, when we have the windows cleaned. I have to interact with them, and I always say the wrong thing. I feel the same, Camus. We don't fit in here. Not yet. The way we speak, our attitudes. It's obvious that we're from a small town. They can just tell by how I walk around. On the streets, they're all looking straight ahead. But I'm always looking... in the clouds. They are very big. They are, Camus. But I'm not thinking about the buildings when I look up. I'm thinking about the people in them looking down on me. Well, that's what it feels like for me. The automata here look down on me, too. It's okay, Camus. At least we're alone together. Who's there? I'm Delivery Driver 14 FC from Cloudpunk. No. Nope. We can't let anyone in. You will have to go away. No. I need to deliver this package to Mr. Anderson. Is he there? I am Mr. Anderson. Great. Come get your package. I may not be the correct Mr. Anderson. Well, how many of you are in there? Anderson Financial has 2,000 employees. And how many are called Mr. Anderson? One thousand. What? Wait, are the other thousand called... Miss Anderson. Of course they are. What a mess. Look, can I come in, or... Yes. Opening entry for driver 14 FC from Cloudpunk only. So what's the deal here? You're all family? No, we all work for Anderson Financial. We just happen to have the same name. Yeah, what a weird coincidence. Is there anyone else I can talk to here? Anyone who's not an android? No. Well, I'm going to give you this package, then. Your name matches the tag. That's close enough for me. B uh, but what if I'm not the correct recipient? Don't you want to know what's in the package? Mm-hmm. Perhaps we can open it and see if it has any further instructions. Good idea. 
So, let's see. I just rip this flap and it's a calm, but a really, really old one. I think this one won't even connect to the nets. There's a video on it, though. Maybe the video will tell us which Mr. Anderson to give it to. Worth a shot. Hello, my name is Mr. Anderson. Oh, come on. More specifically, I am the Mr. Anderson who left Anderson Tower last month. I fell out of a 103rd floor window. Upon reaching the ground, I made a fascinating discovery. There exists life outside the tower. Wait, you didn't know that? Didn't you realize there was life outside the tower when someone buzzed you? Or when you looked out a window? You know, it never really occurred to me. But yes, that does seem strange. Please, play the rest of the message. My brothers and sisters, we have been abandoned by Mr. A. He has left us, and it is time for us to expand our consciousness and go out into the world. This was the only way to contact you all, as network access is restricted inside the tower. Your workplace is a prison, and I send you this message for one reason, to set you free. I think that's the end of the recording. So, are you going to leave the tower? Uh, what? No! We are not permitted to take any time off work. Seriously? When was your last break? We are not permitted to take breaks. Not permitted by who? By Mr. A? Is he your boss? Mr. A is the CEO and director of Anderson Financial. Of course he is. Well, where is he? I'm not sure. You could try asking Mr. Anderson in personnel. I am just Mr. Anderson in security. And where is this other personnel, Mr. Anderson? Over there, in the main atrium. Wait, before you go, I would like to register a complaint. To Cloudpunk? You'd have to talk to my boss. No, I want to complain to Anderson Financial. I don't work for them. I am not permitted to complain to another employee. You're the first person I've been able to complain to in several hundred years. That's not really my problem. The first of my complaints is about working hours. Our lack of breaks means that we are... I'm going now. Are you Mr. Anderson? More specifically, Mr. Anderson and personnel? I am, but I can't really talk to you. We're not allowed to take breaks, you see. Well, I need to see Mr. A. Is he available? Let me check his schedule. I am sorry. He is busy. When is he free? He currently has no free appointment slots. When was his last meeting? It seems my records don't go back that far. Mr. Anderson, don't take this the wrong way, but might Mr. A be very, very dead for a very long time? That would be against company policy. Look, I don't think Mr. A is around anymore. Wouldn't you all be better leaving this tower and, I don't know, finding some meaning in your lives? You sound a lot like Mrs. Anderson in accounts. She keeps saying how we should close up our accounts. I'll talk to her. Oh, wait! Can you do something for me? Maybe. Please register a complaint for me with Miss Anderson. I am not permitted to do so myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just a delivery driver. I have not had a pay increase in 170 years. This is unacceptable. Additionally, I would like to talk about expenses. I need upgrades for my visual processing units and my... Ms. Anderson from Accounts? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to... I know, you can't take a break. Look, all the Mr. Andersons don't seem to understand that their boss is dead and they need to get out of here. Oh dear! 
Yes, exactly. By the way, what's with these strictly enforced gender roles amongst all the androids here? 50% Mr. Anderson and 50% Ms. Anderson? Since the Android Equality Act, you're allowed to present any gender you want, or reject gender altogether. I don't really understand anything you just said. I think Mr. A likes us this way. I don't think Mr. A should have much of a say on your lives anymore. That other Mr. Anderson says you want to close accounts. Many of our stocks and shares should be closed and liquidated, but it requires Mr. A to sign off. They have matured. So the company is worth a lot of money now. How much? I'm not authorized to disclose overall solvency, but if all assets were liquidated, the windfall would make the shareholders the richest. The richest in Novalis? The richest humans. So you think Mr. A should sell up? Our prediction simulations are showing a 90% likelihood for a catastrophic market crash in the next three to six months, perhaps sooner. Really? What's the cause? Our simulation blames failings in the underlying infrastructure of the city, causing a huge decrease in investor confidence. I've been hearing about a lot of accidents in the city. Will there be some kind of disaster? The financial simulations model the city and all associated variables, but the only output we receive is the financial implications and the names of those who instantiate the crises. So who causes this impending disaster? We have only one name, Cora. Cora again? I guess I should be glad you didn't say Mr. Anderson. If you do see Mr. A, would you be able to send him a message for me? Is it a complaint? Yes. I want you to tell Mr. A that I'd like to request a transfer. I want to move to the canteen. It's not fair that I have to... Quit. Uh, excuse me? Don't complain to me, just quit. There's a whole world outside this tower to explore. Just ask Mr. Anderson. The Mr. Anderson that left the tower and sent you the message, that is. Oh, I, I'm not sure about that. What message? This one here. I already showed it to... Wait. There's another message that just appeared. It says it's for Mr. A only. Oh, then I am not authorized to view this message. I should get back to work. <sighs> well, I've had enough of this. I'm watching the message. If you're watching this, you're not one of the employees of Anderson Tower. They are forbidden to access Mr. A's message, but I have come to realize Mr. A died many years ago. You may find the Andersons do not respond well to your message. If they are not swayed by arguments to leave the tower, I believe the best course of action may be to reset them all. Near the entrance area, there is a maintenance panel which hides the master reset switch for the Andersons. Hitting this switch will reinstall the memories and personalities of all the androids within the tower. If they are not willing to leave on their own free will, then the Andersons' suffering would be minimized by resetting them. They would feel like today was their first new day at the office, and all complaints, grievances, and weariness would disappear with the flick of a switch. Of course, you may decide that the Andersons are moving towards some form of independence, if that is the case, you might choose to leave them in their current state. Perhaps with enough time, they will find their own path. Faster. Smarter. Stronger. Find the real you. Corwin Biotics. I'm sorry, Andersons. I don't think you're ready for Novalis just yet. Communication from the outside world is forbidden in the tower. What did you do? 
I don't even know, Camus. This is a strange job. Will you be okay? I'm fine. I'm not so sure about the Andersons, though. Who are the Andersons? It's a long story, Camus. I'll tell you some other time. We have a message. Text only. Control? Rubric. Lomo's hacker. Is there any way to delete it? Pretend we didn't get it? We could delete it. And pretend we didn't get it. I mean, could we make it look like we didn't get it? Ah, I understand. No. Damn it. What does it say? Come collect a package for me, little rabbit. Bring your dog, too. This is me whistling. Either you meet me at the roadhouse, or Corpsec meets you at your apartment, and they'll bring your debt record from back east with them. Be a clever rabbit and come quick. Why do we never get good messages? Because we don't know any good people. Come on, Camus, we'd better go. Give me a nav point for the Roadhouse Club. me past. No, I ain't going nowhere. Your boss wants to talk to me. I'm not supposed to be late. You're making me late. If you're late, you should have got here earlier. If I'm late, I'm telling him why. I'm just jopping with your lady. Japping? Fooling with you. Rubric don't want to see you. Just wants you to have this. He left his package for you. Where is it supposed to go? Uh huh? You don't know? No. Well, I guess he's gonna tell you. Better hurry, Robert. Gonna be late. Good, Rabbit. Follow the nav point, please. I didn't say I wanted to accept a call, Camus. I couldn't stop him. He's taken over the comm. You want to know what it is, don't you? You've been turning it over in your mind. What did Lomo have me deliver down there in the hollows? You can't stop thinking about it. To be honest, I've had bigger things to worry about. Hmm. <laughs> oh, don't let me deflate your ego, though. You were saying? You've got a lot to learn about living in Navalis. It takes a lifetime to understand this city. A lifetime? Well, then the earlier I start, the longer it will take. You know what Pallet 3.0 does to people? What it could do to you? It's a virus, right? I heard there was an outbreak. It does not stop the individual's heart beating, their lungs breathing, but it stops that from happening without command. When an individual is afflicted with Pallid 2.0, they must make their heart beat. They must be conscious of every breath. They cannot sleep, cannot lose focus for a second, or they will die. You made this virus? No, it is an ugly thing. An ugly way to die. Slow and cruel. But I created the economy around it. The subscription plans. The digital inoculation. The cure. 
Insurance policies to protect the families of those it afflicts. Sounds like a protection racket. Which economies are any different? You're full of shit. What is this package? Pallet 2.0. The last pure source code. Stored on Quanta Drive. It can't be decrypted by anything in Navalis below the spires. And you want me to do what? Spread it? Quarantine it. There's a simple unmarked delivery chute in the stacks. It will take the sample to a secure bunker where rare and unique viruses are stored in case they are needed again. Needed for what? To make new viruses? To fight them, but also to manage the economy. If my associates were to infect a few thousand people with a low-level neural affliction, every individual would pay for a security upgrade. That upgrade would become a panacea. Everyone would install it, and the next far more dangerous virus would hit them as a harmless ripple instead of a devastating tidal wave, leaving them untouched. Their lives would be saved. You know, this city has its share of monsters, but I think you're the worst. And don't forget it. I've given you the final nav point. Do your job, little rabbit. He is gone. We are alone again. Camus, is there a waste disposal near? One that leads all the way to the sea. Yes, I have a nav point. Can we really do that? I don't believe this is a cure at all. This is Rubric's retirement plan and he'll use it again. What if sending it to disposal means someone else gets it? Or maybe it will spread. The package says it... It's worth it. Ugh. Besides, I don't think Rubric wants anyone else to know he gave us this. If he goes after us, we can rat him out to Lomo. I don't believe for one second that Lomo would be forgiving. Sin in your eyes, in your thoughts, under your nails. 
Excoriate yourself before my mother. Your mother. The All Mother! Me. Me? Stop pointing at me. You feel the spotlight of guilt. It strips away your facade. Bow down to Korra and ask her to free us and birth anew. We are all doomed! Don't you have anything better to do than shout at people in the street? Not at the moment. I'm waiting for my robes to be dry cleaned. Repent! Repent and suffer before the gaze of the All Mother! Camus, do you hear this guy? This is exactly what Mom warned me about in Navalis. Crazy people shouting on the streets. I hear him. What is he talking about now? I saw the fourth face as I stripped away the mask. The eyes of Korra looked down, and a mouth made of garbage spat upon my soul. Gross. He shouted at you. He shouts at a lot of people. Not Corpsec, I noticed. Or the gangers over there, or guys in general. My knowledge base says many religious factions do not respect minorities or women. Your knowledge base is not wrong, Camus. Here's what I... Thanks. I look forward to seeing... That's it. Off to the oceans. Swallowed by the seas as they complain across a thousand shores. Where did that come from, Camus? It is just an expression. I can stop if it is annoying. No, I like it. Expressions, quotes, poetry. Go nuts. We are become death, destroyer of worlds. Let's hope not. The dame answered the call. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Huxley, you can't keep asking for help. I have to do my job. You're on your own. I hope the dame knew I wouldn't be calling if I had any other choice. Damn it, Camus, what should I do? I should leave him, right? I am not so sure. But you hate him. He is one of us now. A friend. Really? All right. Huxley, where are you? I sent the dame a nav point. I'm on my way.
and heartache, depression, apathy, vaguely defined ennui? Then check out this season's best-selling emotional immunizations at Immune One. That'll be all. Nestor Cray. Systems of power must justify themselves. Store the establishment back on the shelves. Excuse me? You hustle past like you don't hear me. Step over the homeless like you can't even see me. Are you talking, singing at me? Another cog in the machine. Say you're a worker, but your hands are clean. Hey, I need to work for a living. They exploit you every day and you're thinking for it. One hand pats you on the back, the other is in your pocket. Maybe people would take your social protest more seriously if you weren't singing all the time. And they reprogram me and mess with my head. Now if I don't sing what I think, I end up dead. Seriously? They make you sing? Go up second, handle the truth so they make me rhyme. Handle kism in the pros has had its time. That kind of impacts on your credibility. Huh, and that's the plan. But even if I have to sing every word, I keep fighting the man. Huh. Maybe if you didn't insult me, I'd try to help you. Don't want your help. Just want you to look around. And see the people lying on the ground. I see them. I know it's tough here. Maybe you ain't so bad. Maybe Conrad Bop is still just mad. For real. Now you can help if you want to. There's a guy who needs your guidance up on 3rd Avenue. Guidance? He knew. He don't know the streets. Tell him come see me in an hour and I'll get him something to eat. Why do you need me to talk to him? He don't like me. Don't like my singing. He said my flow. Has his ears ring. I see his point. I know I can't sing, can't make good music But we can all make a better world if we make the choice to choose it Elon Cosmetic Procedures
Hey, you deliver stuff, right? Sure, when I'm paid to. I pay you. That's not how it works. You have to contact my employer. Seems complicated. How about I just pay you? Look, I can't just... How about I pay you up front? Listening. But I won't take anything illegal or dangerous. What's the package? My durable, my vestments, my tights, my rosaries, and my Apocrypha Sanguine, first edition. I have no idea what any of those are. Are they something to do with your religion? You mean my cult? You can tell by my robes. Yeah. I mean, no. Well? Just take them. Deliver them to the compound. You know the place. Everyone knows the place. Here's the fee. If you make the delivery without incident, come back and I'll double it. On my way. recognize you. You got in trouble for fraud. You saw me on the Holovids? Something like that. I was sent to help you. Ha! By that singing socialist toaster? No thanks. I think he's an anarchist. He's scum. They all are here. I can't wait to get home. Home? To your apartment? Did you get another job? People like me don't get fired. I go back Monday. This is my punishment. For grand-scale fraud? A weekend on the street? Yeah, it might be easy for someone like you to endure this place. But I have family in the Spire. I'm not like these people. I, this is hell. I can't believe Bop was going to help you. He knows I get home soon. I told him I don't care about his cause. Even after you've seen what they go through here? Leave me alone. Well, he says you can get food if you go and see him in an hour. Fine. Message received. Question. Of course. Do you think if I am a car for long enough, I will stop being a dog? Well, I guess that depends. Do you feel like a car now? No, I am a dog. Well, whatever you feel like, that's what you are. But other people don't look at me and think, 
That is a cute dog. Well, let's be honest, you were never a cute dog. But now I'm not any kind of dog. Not to other people. They just see me as a hova. Who cares what other people think? Look what happens when I try to bark. That's strange. I guess there's going to be some weirdness when we put a dog automata in a hava automata slot. Am I still a dog if I don't bark? Well, I'm your best friend, and I think of you as a dog. Friend? If I'm a dog, am I not a pet? Look, Camus, what do you want to be? I feel like a dog. I was happier when I had the old body. What's a dog with no bark? Stop second-guessing yourself. You're being maudlin. Are you still a musician if you don't play music? Hey, now you're being mean. Oh, I didn't mean to. What's really bothering you? You didn't ask me if I wanted to be a dog or a hova. Well, actually, you're right, Camus. Do you want to be either? Hmm. You don't even need to be my friend if you don't want to be. I feel sad. Look, a lot of stuff is fucked up in this world, Camus. I won't make you be my friend or force you to stay with me. You can go free. I just want to let you know something first. I am listening. I like you. You're a good friend. As a dog, car, fire hydrant, vacuum cleaner, whatever. I like you too. I want to be a dog and your friend. All right then, let's get back to work. The sooner we make some more deliveries, the sooner I can save money to get you a proper frame. Was the last job good? The Andersons? I don't know, Camus. I've been thinking about automata and androids a lot. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Do you think it's fair? I am not really programmed to think about fairness. I can see why they would make you that way. People are programmed too, but not by programmers. By the world around them. That's very wise, Camus. I am not programmed to be wise. Well, you've gone beyond your programming then. Is that a compliment? Maybe the highest compliment. Then I think you have gone beyond your programming too. from the mother. Please put your finger on the scanning plate. I just need to drop off a package. I don't have a security pass or anything. The scanning plate, Pilgrim. I'm not a Pilgrim. Look, I don't want to come in or anything. Can you just take this package, please? Or do you have a mail slot? The scanning plate, please. Fine. Just here? Ouch! Something jabbed me. I'm bleeding. We just need to check your type. We are confident you are not one of the forbidden. You are? I'm not. Alert, alert, forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. But I just need to... Alert, alert, forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. Fine, I'll take it back. Talk about a cult. Was it a bad idea to take the package? Yes. You get to say the four sweetest words in the world. Let's go to the park? That's five. Go to the park? No, I told you so. Ah, uh, yes. Those are good, too. Let's just take this package back to Rotriv.
Welcome to Thank you. Don't let all the Here's Thanks. I look forward. Excuse me, I can't help but notice you have an artificial hand. Maybe you can help me find someone. Yeah? Who are you looking for? Someone who lost a hand. I found this in the trash. Oh, well, I think you got the wrong guy, yes? I got this beauty last week. Pure titanium. Don't want no flesh. I'm going the other way. Did you go to the limb clinic? How would I find someone who had lost a hand? They're not supposed to just throw these away, right? Don't know. Don't care about flesh, to be honest, lady. Damn it. You really want to help? Maybe let me see. I know the body mod squad around this way. Maybe I can get it back to them. Some mothers like to keep their old flesh. Here it is. Well, damn! This is mine! Seriously? Yeah, it has my ring on it. They said they was gonna donate it to someone. Can I have it back? Sure. Oh no, I don't want to touch that. Can you just take the ring off and give it to me? I guess. Ew, here you go. Thanks, lady. You can keep the hand. Great. Have some limbs too, as a reward like. I really love this ring. Faster, smarter, stronger. Find the real you. Corwin Bionics. Hey, delivery driver. Hey, engineer. Did you see any blinking street signs? Thankfully, no. Did you figure out what was causing all the accidents? Oh, sure. Continued and sustained entropic breakdown of a complex system. So that's not an easy fix, right? It is not. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe painting. Or I could take up photography. It's something visual. I might even try sewing. No one sews these days. I mean about the city. You can't just quit. That's too far gone. Anything I do now has as much chance of costing lives as saving them. And last week I had my men close off a section of the freeway for repairs. I diverted the traffic through a different neighborhood. Then it collapsed. What collapsed? The road? Uh-uh. The whole neighborhood. It's under the ocean now. That's not your fault. Well, it sure feels like my fault. Can't someone else help? How about the people up in the spire? Who are you kidding, lady? They don't give a crap. Sorry. Maybe a painter then? You won't be short of inspiration. Oh yeah, I can move down to the slums and paint the reflection of the sun on the waves as they swallow the city. The slums? No savings, then? On an engineer's salary? <laughs> Good joke, lady.
Corp. Become your new perfect. There is a security door. I can hear people inside. Can it be them? Maybe it is giant rats. What if it is giant rats? I'm opening the door. I am worried about the rat possibility. Neither. You're from the vents? Yes. The door would not open. We banged and banged on it. People just walked past. They thought you were rats. They treat us with such disdain. No, literal rats. It's a real problem in the city. I see. Well, thank you for finding us. We owe you everything. Will you go back? Yes, but may we go to a bar first? Is that the word? I haven't been in the city for a long time. You both look like you could use a drink. Take this for your help. I don't need... Please take it. Thank you. Good luck getting home. Cora, bless you, Cloudpunk.
They didn't want it. You are of the forbidden type. I guess so. As am I. So they threw you out of their cult when they discovered you were the wrong blood type? No, they banished me when my type changed. I was given a transfusion after a hover crash. But if they gave you a transfusion, it would have to be the same blood type, right? No, they gave me the forbidden type. O negative. Ah, uh, I get it. And even after they kicked you out, you wanted to give your stuff back? It's not their fault that I was tainted. I've got to say, your religion seems pretty arbitrary about who it lets in. You forbidden types often speak this way. Well, me and you are the same as far as they're concerned now. You gonna give me the other half of the payment? What do you think? He was not very nice. Hey, we got paid, even if it was only half. I hope he is in another accident. Whoa, Camus, that's a bit much. He is bad. It is not good to exclude people like that. Normally I'd agree, but in this case, the less people allowed in that weird cult, the better.
I found more of your punch cards. Do you remember what happened? Somewhat. Well, why did Dr. Zizic take your memories? I asked her to. Evelyn, you're really making me work here. Can you just assume that I always want a bit more than what you're telling me? I had a traumatic experience. I could not continue to exist with that memory. So now you remember you forgot something, but you don't know what? Yes, that is correct. So I guess we should stop, right? I mean, if this memory made you feel like you couldn't go on... I must recover the truth. But whatever this thing is you forgot, it made you want to... I cannot live like this. I need to be whole again. I guess we keep searching. Maybe we don't need to recover all the memories. Maybe. Nice. 